Hi guys, welcome back to Danny's Project. This is the last part of the four part series on learning a handstand. The last video was all about finding balance. And in this video, we will talk about entering the handstand, for example, with a kick up. A nice metaphor for learning the handstand and learning the kick up would be, you want to learn to how to drive a car, but you actually don't know how to start the car. So the kick up is more of a trial and error thing. For example, I can nearly hold the balance 10 out of 10 times coming off the wall but my kick-up success rate is around roughly 70%. To master and to bring the kick-up to perfection can take a lot of time. So there are different types of handstand kick-ups, for example the pike kick-up and the straddle kick-up and there are a lot more, for example the tuck kick-up, but we are just focusing ourselves on the split deck kick-up because this is the easiest one to learn in my opinion. <laughs> nice one. So for the split leg kick up, place your hands shoulder width apart. Your gaze should be between your thumbs. And then you want to decide which leg should be your pushing leg and which leg should be your kicking leg. In this video, the kicking leg is the right one. Try to avoid the mistakes I've shown you in this video. Please elevate your shoulders and push into the floor. What actually helped me a lot with learning the kick up, think of a pendulum. So when your arms and your torso are moving down, your legs and your hips are moving up. So try to avoid being wobbly, try to be straight. So when you're standing and your legs are moving up, your torso and your arms are going down. So we have already covered one kick up drill in the last video, but with this one, with the kick up and the floating drill, we want to add one element, which is balance. So kick up against the wall, remember, be gentle and soft. And then you want to use your legs to shift your center of mass over your base of support. And then you really want to catch the balance. Over time, you can move your hands further away from the wall if this is getting too easy for you. And then you can do this drill over and over again. With the kick up and leg switches drill, we want to strengthen our shoulders and we also want to practice kicking up with our weaker side because we have to change sides and sides over and over again. And also we are practicing the closing motion of the legs because later on when we want to achieve a straight handstand, we need to close our legs, which is quite obvious because moving our legs in the handstand will shift our center of mass. We really need to be cautious here and careful with this drill. And if you feel ready for doing a freestanding kick up, try to do this and try to catch balance between one, two or three seconds on the top position and come back down with control and do this over and over again. Now that we have already talked about the balancing part and the entry part, we can try to combine them. So kick up, try to catch balance with a split leg, then try to close your legs and if you manage to do your first couple of seconds in freestanding handstands, congratulations, you made it. But as far as I can say something, now the real work has only begun. Stick to your practice, be consistent and work yourself up to 10, 20, 30 or even 60 seconds. 60 seconds is often a milestone for a lot of people who are practicing handstands. So this was my handstand practice roughly two years ago. I practice it about once or twice per week on a consistent and regular basis. It's okay right now, not good, but also not bad. We all know there's always something to improve on. So my message is don't expect amazing results after one or two months. Give yourself some time and I promise you will make progress. And if you're feeling that you have any issues with learning the hands and watch these videos over and over again, compare the form of these videos with your own form and think of all the stuff we have talked about and I think then you're good to go. So lastly, as in the other videos, let's talk about some basic training structure. So for the kick up and floating handstand, we want to accumulate between 60 and 90 seconds. You can do more over time if you want to. For the kick up and leg switches drill, start with five kick ups per side for one set. Then you can slowly increase the reps of kick ups over time. So you will eventually do 10 reps per side. And for the freestanding kick up, do three to five reps with control and come back down slowly and do as well three sets here. 
I would recommend resting between 90 and 120 seconds. You can even rest 180 if you want to or 240. It's totally up to you because the handstand is a skill and not a strength element. That's already it for this video and for the hands and series. It just took us roughly 30 minutes of covering all the important stuff for the handstand. Please keep in mind, these were just 30 minutes of video tutorials. So obviously you need a lot more time. And if you have any issues or any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. Support my work and my videos by hitting the subscribe button, like the video and share this with others. And see you guys for the next one. Bye bye.